ZZ here with the very best of the low country and I am here in Georgetown and I have caught up with Mr. Dick Clute and we are here to tell you about a wonderful organization, a wonderful uh, construction going underway and also about a wonderful event that happened on Saturday. Taste of Georgetown, the first an- annual Taste of Georgetown happened on Saturday and that was to benefit what? That was to ben- benefit the construction, the renovation process for the Family Justice Center, and that's where you are right now. And it was a tremendously successful event. We had over a thousand people attend the event on Saturday. Wow! So now tell us a little bit about the Family Justice Center and the goal, because it's a wonderful, wonderful project. The Family Justice Center, and I'm, I know you're going to be talking to Joan Meacham too, who is our interim executive director, but. Right. Family Justice Center is the, what we're trying to do is a, establish a facility that will be available for victims of domestic violence so that they can go to one place and get all the services they need rather than going to eight or nine or ten different organizations to get the services. And as a result, because they can go to one place and get all those services, it's more likely that they will get to all the needs that they have satisfied to get to accomplish all the needs that they have for the, the particular victim. And so now let me let's talk about the Taste of Georgetown because it was a huge, huge success. I know that it took a lot of time and a lot of planning. So about how many people were downtown? Uh, the Taste of Georgetown, we estimate there were over 1,000 people, wow. uh, somewhere between 1,000 and about 1,500 people. And uh, there were about 16 different restaurants that were participating in the event. And we also had... Uh, Oh, uh, about 20 different retail shops that were offering uh, discounts on their products. Okay, so how it worked was that people actually came to the taste, they bought tickets, and they were able to sample all of the wonderful food from the restaurants downtown. That's correct. A lot of people would refer to this as a restaurant crawl, where they go from restaurant to restaurant to sample the different food items. We had a few restaurants that were located at Francis Marion Park underneath the tent. Right. And uh, those restaurants, sent restaurants like Land's End and uh, Beef O'Brady's and a few others were serving samples as well. Well, I heard that you got a lot of support. People really came out. Um, you raised a lot of money for this very important cause. And I want you to tell everybody if they have any questions about the Family Justice Center, where they can get in contact with you and how they can get in contact with you. Uh, if they have questions about the Family Justice Center, the best thing to do is to call uh, Joan Meacham, who is our executive director, and I don't have the number right on me right now, but in any event, um, that's the best thing to do. Um, there is a, um, a website, too, that John will tell you about in a few minutes. Okay. We will put that on the bottom of the screen, everybody. <laughs> You're so welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Mm-hmm. Dick Clute, and congratulations on a wonderful, wonderful event. Thank you. You all stay tuned.